Okay guys, welcome back to Jack of All Trades. Today we're working on a Yard Machines 38 inch mower deck. We're going to show you how to install it and take you step by step. Here's a close up of what it looks like. There's a couple little tricky little pins and stuff we got to go through. So I'll take you step by step. First thing you want to do is uh, Lower the uh, mower deck. And then, uh, well, this, this, this step you're not going to have to do, but this tractor was set up for a snow plow and tire chains. So I put the uh, mower deck uh, engage uh, wire on the back here. So I just snip it off. That's what it looks like. Gonna throw it under the tires here. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna be taking off the uh, plow blade, the handle, pop it off just like that. Take the pin out, so you drop the the plow, pull it apart here. I'm just going to store this uh, plow away for the summer and uh, get the mower deck on there. So best thing to do is jack the back up. This helps get the tire chains off and also helps for installation of the mower deck. Sometimes these chains can be a pain in the butt. It's a lot easier when the, the lawn tractor is uh, raised. Chains are simple, you just unhook them and they, they fall right off. Now there's number one, let's go number two. I got these uh, center pieces here. They just help keep stress on the chain. These things work pretty good. So we've been using this uh, tractor for two years now. Plow and snow and it, it, it works perfectly fine. So just get this last chain off, unhook it, get the hook on the inside here, and there we go. Okay, you're going to want to lay down some type of tarp, uh, prevent scratching the paint on the mower deck. Place the mower deck on top of the tarp. I'm going to reach down here, grab it pull it under so we can get it installed correctly there you go you see uh, that's the uh, belt guard I already put it on the belt you're gonna remove that guard one bolt and install wrap the belt around and put the guard back up just like shown this is the bar that holds the uh, mower deck the front of the lawn tractor. You're going to want to insert it. Make sure the washer is facing forward at the front of the steel. Uh, pinch it through the narrow part and then pull back. And that should install the bar. It's a little tricky, but. And then you just want to lift up the mower deck and uh, try to pop the handle in here. It should fall in and then catch. And that's gonna hold the front of the mower deck up. Now on the back here, you wanna remove the cotter pin. You just pop it out just like that. And then there's a bar behind. That just slides out. You're gonna need to grab that bar that just slides towards the tire. Insert it in the hole that's shown. There's a couple holes. See the hole I just put it in? You lift the mower deck up. Then you're going to line up the holes and then pop it in. Just like that. Grab the pin. Put it back in. And that'll hold it from falling down. That's what it looks like. See how the bar's inside? Layered inside the steel there. Pin through it. And then lock. 
Now we're on the other side here. We're just going to reach up and fit it in there. Do the same thing. So you got the pin in there. Both sides are the same. Take it to the other side here and show you what it looks like. Get an idea on how to uh, install this. So there you go. Now the next couple clips I'm going to show you is uh, a lot of people complain about loose belts on these things. And I'll show you uh, the reason why you have a loose belt. Because the spring's installed incorrectly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, lower the uh, lawn tractor. And we don't need the jack anymore. Now we're just going to test out uh, to see if it raises and lowers. Yep, seems to work pretty good. So, Okay, this is the pin, the cable that engages the blades. You're going to want to remove the cotter pin. Just like that. Pair of pliers will work. Once that's done, you're going to remove the, uh, there's like a, a sleeve. Oh. Right there. Just pull the sleeve down just like that. That sleeve is used for. Okay, so now what we're doing now is we're going to see the spring I got in my hand. That's the hole you got to put in. That's the 48. That's the 42 and that's the 30, 38. So you want to put it in the 38 hole. If you put it in the other hole, you're not going to have a lot of tension on the belt and the belt's going to slip. So if I had one user say, you know, his belt's slipping, it's not tight, that's probably the reason why. You're probably put in the wrong hole. So you're going to remove the bar, like I showed you there. Grab the spring, lift up, and then hook it in just like this. There you go. See how it's in the small hole, not the big hole? Then you want to make sure you put the bar back on, but make sure the belt is on the outside, like that. There you go. And then you just put your uh, clip back on. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is the last part of the cable. You're going to pull the cable out, feed it through the hole. But make sure you put the sleeve off first. Remove the sleeve, pull it down the wire, just like that. Let it hang, and then grab the other part, pull against, down, and then twist it. And it'll snap in. Twist it. There you go. See? Just twist a little. And then you're going to put the sleeve over top. Uh, I don't know what the, I call it, the lock and sleeve. And then you're going to put the cotter pin in. That's going to hold the cable from coming out. Now you're going to want to test it. So just test it well before you start it. Here's a, there you go. Thank you for watching Jack of All Trades. I hope you liked the video. Uh, like I said, this helps you install your 38 inch mower deck.